I promise you, these next five minutes are going to save you a lot of time, so you're going to want to watch the whole thing. We're going to go over the top five biggest mistakes that aspiring data scientists make today, but also the right way or a faster way to do what you are doing. Before we get started, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. So our first mistake, you're wasting your time and energy on your development environment. Python or R. Okay, my opinion is Python. Of course, you could have that debate forever. Pick one. You need to pick an integrated development environment or IDE, which is where you would write your code. If you're using R, just use R Studio. And if you're using Python, there's a bunch of different choices like Spider, VS Code, PyCharm, Jupyter Notebooks, or the last one, which I highly recommend for a very long time, Google Collab. It has all of the libraries that you're gonna need set up. If you don't have the libraries, you can just do, use exclamation pip install, and then any library from PyPy. It has all of the ones that you're gonna need in there already. It has TensorFlow, and NumPy, and Pandas. Mistake number two, you're trying to learn everything about a topic. Stop trying to learn everything. I don't know all of Python. I don't know all of R. I don't know all of NumPy or Pandas. Learn the core data structures. In Pandas, they have a data frame and a series. Really, it's just a data frame, which is made up of many series. In Matplotlib, they have a couple graphs. In NumPy, they have an array. In TensorFlow, Kira's, they have a sequential model, okay? They have it like a neural network making model. Same with Python itself. Let me tell you a quick story. Once upon a time, I used to constantly monitor these graphs and articles, trying to find out which was the top language or the top framework or the top algorithm that's used today. Number three, you're worrying about people's opinions rather than useful information. Learn actual things and not just what people's opinions are before you start jumping around and trying to figure out, oh no, is this one better or is this one better or is this one better? Linear regression is good. Logistic regression is good. Random forests are good. Neural networks are good. Python and R are both good. Stop trying to optimize every single thing because the more that you optimize your time trying to figure out which is best, the less time you're actually spending learning something useful. Y is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the negative z, where z is beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 up to beta n x n. I just explained to you what logistic regression is. Write that down. I'm trying to teach you the math before I'm telling you what it is actually good for and what it's trying to do. Number four, you're learning how something works before understanding the problem it solves. Figure out what problem something's trying to solve before you look into the means of how it's being done. So this could be for an algorithm, some library, like what is what is Kira's? So you might start by reading all of the Kira's functions, but unless you figure out what it's trying to solve, which is really the problem of making neural networks simply, then the functions aren't gonna make sense to you. But once you take a little bit of time to understand what it's trying to do, it'll start making sense. Number five, you think that SQL and Spark is only for big data engineers. You think that SQL and Spark is only for people learning big data. Let me give you a secret. Every data scientist will at one point be a big data engineer. We like to characterize these things into different roles where you get hired as a big data specialist and then that person would then talk to the data scientist. They're often the very same person regardless of what your title is. Your data is too big to fit into pandas you are using Spark. If you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any information. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.